Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Now in today's video we're looking at one of the more favourite items in Space Engineers and that is elevators. But this is no ordinary elevator, no. This one goes to space. If I was to bring up my HUD and press H, you can see that 10.29 kilometers away is the end of the elevator, which is absolutely huge. So this is a world in itself and not an actual blueprint. Yes, you could if you wanted to take a blueprint of it and paste it into your world, but it just seems a lot more easier on the load times if you just come into this little area here. Now this is a very weird little planet. I have been looking around here. I don't think this is the starting Earth planet because it seems a little bit odd. It's like there's beaches here, there's oceans here, but never mind. We'll take a look at that a little bit later on. So when you spawn into this world, you'll end up over here on the end of this little road. This little road here is made for vehicles, so you can bring it across to this little hangar over here. If I just use my jetpack and scoot along here, we go on to the quote unquote ocean to get over to here, where we have a lovely button panel in front of some hangar doors. So pressing this will open it up. So now that this is open, we can now bring vehicles in here if we wanted to store it. Let me just turn my lights on because it's quite dark in here. And I'm going to close this up because, yeah, no, no one else is allowed in here now. This is now my little home. So we have little signs all around here. If we come up around here, blah, blah, blah. In fact, let's just do this. So vehicle traffic only, pedestrians use the side lanes. So it's like a proper road system in here. We then have passenger boarding this way. And we have this red sign over here, which is security personnel only. So they have set it up like a proper little world for you to use. It's, well, the more I look at it, the more I'd say it's probably better to make a blueprint of it and paste it into your world. Because it's quite nice to have it on like a big street universe maybe. So because I don't have a vehicle, I'll probably have to go on the passenger route. So let's follow the signboard this way. So we're going to go up here. Hopefully we're going up here. And now we've got this little area around here. It's the same on the opposite side where we come up and through the doors. All passengers be ready to board on arrival. Yes, I will be ready to board on arrival. Now that does look good. I like what they did with the ice. It makes it re look really nice. It's a real shame there's no water in Space Engineers. So we come around to here. Please form an audio queue. Well, it's a good thing I'm British because queuing is part of my nature. So up here, we have some buttons. Gonna have to bring this up. And we have the piston reverse. Okay, so the piston reverse brings out the little bridge which goes over to the little elevator which we step into. Now, will it reverse yet the little piston or do I have to run over there and do it myself? Because I don't trust elevators to not blow up all of a sudden. I mean, it's not connected to anything so it should be fine, but I'm still kind of wary of it. So, I mean, pistons in this game just tend to explode for no reason whatsoever. So now we're in the little elevator itself. We've got a lot of seats. A lot, a lot of seats. We've got the vent, which is oxygenated. And we have, of course, the main cockpit, which is over here. So getting in here, we have a bunch of controls. We have got lower lock, upper lock, sliding doors open and close. We have the lower connectors. We have cameras. And we have the unlock vehicles. Close the doors. I think we're all closed. And then if I turn this off. Up we go. You have to hold up on the mouse to make this go up, which is quite nice. I am kind of worried because there is a few explosions going on outside. If I could just tilt the camera just right. There we go. We are now slowly going up on this elevator. I think I did actually hit the ramp that I was saying that I was probably going to hit, but never mind. But look at this world. I really like this world. It's very nice. So we're going up and up and up. Look at that. That is a brilliant ocean. Brilliant ocean. I still want to know what world this is. I think this might be the Earth world. I don't know, as in like the proper Earth world. But I don't really know what I'm talking about. We're just going up this elevator constantly up, up, up. Look at look at this planet and look at the world around me. There's like little galaxies everywhere. It's very impressive. I do want to be able to tilt the camera up. Oh, I could probably use six and seven. Ah, here we go. That would be much more useful. So. We're starting to come... Oh, stop! <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I believe we have arrived. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I believe we we have totally arrived here. So we got this, we've got double doors, and now we're into the station. Don't fall, please. I want to get back onto this. That was something I wasn't looking out for. <laughs> Just crashing into it. But we are in space. And it looks magnificent. I have no idea what world this is, but it looks absolutely fantastic. So we have lots of little doorways in here, lots of space to use if we want it. Like, make a little base around here. We've got some more windows. I I do love this. There's one thing I do love about this game, just staring out into space. It looks magnificent. So we've got to come around here into another little world, some more doorways, and out into space we are. Which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The sun even looks great in this as well. So here we go all the way down. I believe I have came off the rails, but this is going to be to our deaths. Oh dear. Oh dear. Could this be it? Could this be the end of the elevator? I believe it is. But yeah, it's it's a very novel thing, as long as you actually slow down before you get to the top. So anyway, it will be in the description below if you want to play around with it yourself. It is a lot of fun, and I am sorry for destroying it in one go, but that thing tends to happen in Space Engineers. Especially with me, when it comes to ships. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.